In tonight's OIO prep profile, Frank Altieri steps onto the wrestling mat as he talks with LCC standout Chase Caprella. Lima Central Catholic has created a standard of excellence for the wrestling program. Senior Chase Caprella has been a key member to this tradition. I'm a hard-nosed wrestler. I, I push everyone as hard as I can for six minutes and just wear them out and tire them out and beat them in the third. The, he's a hard worker. Uh, what really impressed me the most, he's a good gentleman. Uh, he's a hard worker in the room and, then, uh, and also in the school. He's one of our most elite athletes, uh, student athletes in the school. And uh, so th that I'm appreciative, and I like the fact that he can show that you can, um, if, if you do time managing properly, you can, you can be successful on and off the mat. And that's just one thing that's good for him. Comes in, works hard, doesn't say a lot, doesn't complain. Um, you ask him to run through a wall, he's going to figure out how to get through the wall, and he's going to do it. So that's what I appreciate the most about what Chase has, has done for us in our program. And uh, like I said, just, he's consistent. He's a consistent athlete, and, and that's what we love about him and, and respect about him. Only one spot away from placing at state last year, Chase is motivated as ever to capture a spot in his final year. I just want to go out there and prove to people that I'm, I'm capable of doing whatever I set my mind to, and I can uh, work to achieve any goal I want. We got to make a few adjustments uh, with transitioning. Uh, you know, I don't want to go too in depth with it, but there's a lot of things that we're correcting uh, that we're going to make sure that uh, we get where we need to be. And our, and our goal, obviously, is, is to win a state title. And uh, he just he's just got to keep doing what he's doing this year. We've made a lot of transitions in the summertime between his training, uh, his eating habits, and everything like that. And it's just we got to stay consistent with what we're doing and, and trust the process, and, and we're going to get where we need to be. Chase is hoping to wrestle at the collegiate level and has all the intangibles a school is looking for. I think uh, Chase is one of those kids that, uh, again, he's going to bring a lot of academic things to, to a wrestling program, so it's going to be a huge fit wherever he goes. He's going to be successful uh, no matter where he's at, but I, I think as far as what they're going to see in him is, again, the time management part. When you're, when you're being recruited in the collegiate level, if you can time manage, you're gonna, they know you're going to be a successful individual and a better man, and uh, I think that he's going to bring a huge asset to any college program that he goes to uh, with the wrestling part. He's hard-nosed, and, and he said he's, he's just a disciplined kid. He's a, he's a unique kid in a great way, and those are hard to come by, and, and Wherever he ends up, he's going to be successful, and everybody's going to be thankful and, and appreciative of what he's able to do. In my senior year, I'm looking forward to heading down to the shot at the end of the year and taking the top of the podium.